Danielle, thank you. Now at six, two dozen Cuban migrants are on dry land in South Florida tonight. They came ashore in the upper Florida Keys earlier today, but tonight authorities are trying to find out exactly how they got here. CBS 4's Ted Scown is live in Homestead with the story. Ted? Hi, Elliot. Well, those migrants landed on Sands Key, which is just above Elliot Key, a couple miles off Biscayne National Park, where we are right now. Uh, tonight, investigators believe they were smuggled from Cuba to the U.S. Cheering and waving to helicopters above, a group of two dozen Cuban migrants are thrilled they made it ashore, even if they're still a couple miles off the mainland on Sands Key. A little boy is with them. The tide was low, so we had to have them, the migrants walk out. Took them in groups. At this time, FWC showed up and Metro Dade Fire. Uh, we transported them onto Metro Dade Fire, made sure that they're all good and healthy. Once they were checked out on that fire boat, they headed ashore on three different boats. When they arrived at Biscayne National Park, they told us they're all doing okay, even the child. Como se sienten? Bien. We're fine, this woman told us. Everyone is okay, except for this man. He hurt his leg. En el monte, el fungo. He said his foot got stuck in the mangrove. That's how he heard it. While he was in pain, he wanted his family to know he made it and he's okay. Tell my family I love them, he said, to my mom, my brother, the kids, and my wife. They were loaded onto Customs and Border Protection vans so they could be taken for processing. They told us they left Matanzas, Cuba, on Saturday. But now there are a lot of questions, like how did they get here and who brought them? We believe that this was an organized maritime smuggling event by a smuggling organization. Um, it was not a rustic vessel from what we were told on scene by our operators. 23 of them were brought to the Border Patrol Station in Dania Beach for questioning. Another one was taken to the hospital be, to be checked out for that uh, hurt leg. Uh, meanwhile, uh, they should be released to their families later on this evening. Live in Homestead, Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News.